What is a phrase that a parent can say to ruin a child's self-esteem just like that? I went out a couple of times with a girl who was adopted while we were both in high school. One time I was over the house, she and her mom got into an argument, and her mom yelled out something along the lines of now I know why your parents put you up for adoption. Never in my life have I heard anything half as cruel. My parents always knew exactly how long it was until my 18th birthday, and would remind me that I'd be on my own when it arrived. It was the sword of Damocles hanging over my head, my whole childhood. I knew in my bones that I was not wanted or welcome, and that they looked forward to being free of me. It's your fault my life is so messed up. My mother told me almost every day that I was the reason she couldn't go to college and become a lawyer. Someone blaming the child for something like a divorce happening. Someone did that to my daughter and she won't say who. But I tell her every time it's not her fault and it's mine and her mom's fault. She cries every time she says it's her fault we aren't together. I don't know who is saying that to her but they need their ass kicked for it. My parents didn't have to say anything to destroy my self-esteem. They just packed their shit and left one day while I was at school. That'll do the trick real quick. Why didn't you get an A? I got an A. Nope. A. Nope. Got 100. Why didn't you get extra credit? That's when I gave up. My kid is a straight A student. Not 1B. She'd get a 92 and the wife started that same BS my dad pulled. Nipped that in the bud. This thread is fucking sad. I'm giving everyone here a virtual hug. Jesus. Why can't you be like insert name of cousin neighbor classmate any random human being? Please God. Please just let her commit suicide already. I overheard my mother praying this to God about six months before an attempt that led to 1.5 years in a hospital and six months in a group home. Disappointed face disappointed face. You'll never be able to do that. Or. You'll never amount to anything. My grandma used to tell my mom in the 80s you look frumpy, men don't like that. She's made sure to never say anything like that to me. Side note, my mom has always thought she looked frumpy, matronly, and fat because of her mom's words, to this day even though my grandma has been gone 10 years. It wasn't ever true. Her damn wedding dress fit my waist when I was a normal-sized 12-year-old, for God's sake. You are not depressed, there is nothing wrong with you. You are just lazy and make up excuses all the time. I wish I had aborted you. God, that hit me like a sword. Your brother-sister never gives me such difficulty. My dad used to make all of his kids and my mom run laps in the yard to lose weight. This started when I was 10. He told me that nobody would be your friend if they saw you in a swimsuit at 8 when I got invited to a pool party at a friend's house. As you can imagine, I struggle pretty hard with body image issues. These are the absolute tip of the iceberg of what that man has said to me. I'm Asian. My parents can destroy my self-esteem with any comment, they just need to inflect it a little different and it comes off as soul-destroying insult. When child is showing any type of emotion and the parent says what is wrong with you in a disgusted manner. A direct quote from my mom everyone else has normal kids. What did I do get get stuck with you? Me should have used a condom and not abuse me. You get what you invest in. Growing up my mom always told us I love you but that doesn't mean I have to like you and tbh that still fucks with me at 25 smiling face with open mouth and cold sweat. I was chubby for a portion of my childhood. At one point my dad told me other kids would mistake me for a girl because I was growing breasts because of my weight. Who needs bullies at school when your parents can just come up with the worst insults? Children are meant to be seen and not heard. Decades later it still doesn't feel natural to speak up. 
Dad I hope you fuck better than you cut grass or your future wife is going to be miserable. Me a 12 year old. When my mother found out I was self-harming her first reaction was well there were less obvious places you could have done it. You can't rape the willing upon finding out I lost my virginity to rape while blackout drunk my first time drinking. Even though I explained that I didn't realize at the time that a. He kept handing me another while we were talking until I had had about four and didn't feel good anymore. B. He didn't drink at all. C. I hurt and bled for three days after. What's wrong with you? My dad called me a fat slut when I was 15. Little did he know, I ate food for comfort because neither one of my parents acknowledged my existence. Calling me fat was his favorite insult. I remember it from as early as nine. I brought you into this world. I give you a roof over your head in response to any protests of any kind from the child. Like, is that why you have children? To lord it over their heads that you gave them life till the end of your days. Both have said if they could do it over again they wouldn't have kids. Both my parents were toxic and abusive, but my mother was manipulative on top of being verbally physically abusive. My mom could take any situation and twist it so she was the victim, even if she started the fight. The one action that sticks out to me, was she would come up behind me, pinch my sides and make sure her nails dug into my skin, and say pinch an inch on the fatty. When the area bruised, she said those were reminders not to be fat. Ironically, my mom was obese all her life. I've heard, I brought you into this world and I can take you out of it personally. Wait until your dad gets home. Sure. Make the kid afraid of his dad. My late mom used to hate when she heard a mom say that. Or her dad. You're gonna eat all that? You keep hurting me in the context that I wasn't doing exactly what SHE wanted me to do. There is nothing wrong with you, you are just looking for attention in regards to mental illness. Your sister has it so much worse than you. After my sister became disabled I wasn't allowed to have problems. I basically ceased to exist to my parents at 16 years old. Why are you so emotional? My dad, a chaplain in the Air Force for over 25 years and a current pastor who everyone thinks is the bee's knees, told me that I was too self-centered to kill myself, completely shattering any illusion I had that he loved me or wanted to see me free of pain. The sad thing is I thought he was one of the most compassionate people I knew up to that point, he'd adopted my siblings and me, and I bet on that he never thought I'd deal with pain from trauma like this, until he reiterated it a few months ago. My mom told me my dick was too small to please a woman. Even though it measures slightly over average, I have serious anxiety when having sex the first few times with a lady. Well my mom used to say that I was a pathetic POS that would amount to nothing. This started when I was 7 or 8 until I was thrown out on my 16th birthday. Hey mom I had a great career and owned my own house. Thanks for the support. Quit smiling like that. You're doing a weird thing with your lip. It was just a big smile because I was genuinely happy for the first time in a while. We only had all you kids for the tax write-off. X200B. X's dad said that to him as a teen. 30 years later it was still affecting his relationship with his parents. Here's a few that did it for me. In no particular order. You're never going to amount to anything. If you'd just try harder. Can't you do anything right? You'll never be more than a ditch digger. You're sure going to make somebody a good wife while helping my mom in the kitchen. Love of cooking is something I thank my late mother for all the time. You are not as insert self-esteem building quality here as you think you are and giving siblings permission to reiterate the sentiment as reinforcement of the adult opinion. It's a self-esteem ruiner, and forever makes you question your identity and the reality you're trying to build for yourself. Also can make you pretty susceptible to tricky relationships. It's awesome thumbs 